On today's edition of my amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog, I'm going to be doing two things. One, asking everyone I meet today, who I know that plays Yu-Gi-Oh! obviously, what do they think about the new 10s that are coming out? And two, taking guys on my day to locals and showing some matches and everything. The format's kind of stale right now. We haven't got a ban list yet per Konami. And I'm not going to let that stop me from going to locals and, you know, taking mass heroes and trying to win again. So, you know, ultimately, I guess I'll give you guys my quick thoughts before I start my day with you guys on the new 10 promo. The one that matters to me, at least, which is that Nebula um, promo. Honestly, Neil, what's that dude running for? Honestly, Neil's, not honestly, Neil's. Um, Neo Spacey and Nebula. The card has so much freaking potential, guys. So much freaking potential. And it just sucks so bad. I still want to build a deck door and tinker with it low key. But with the effect of. Well, no, nah, the effect is good. You know, you can draw, negate, and banish the field. That's amazing. The problem is bringing this dude out. Neo Spacey and Elegant Hero, whatever dude name is, sucks. Vanilla Monster. Black Panther's good. Neo Space and Black Panther's pretty decent. I can see how he can be kind of techy and relevant in today's meta. And heck, even Grand Mode, I can see using him in today's meta here and there as a decent card from back in the day. But oh my god, I gotta run that Neo's car. It's just like, ah, it's trash, bro. It's trash. Konami seriously needs to um, make a new Neo's car that's like level four. And just have the effect be like blue eyes, where it's like, while he's on the field and in graveyard, his, he's always treated as a Neos because the current state of the Neo Spacey deck as it is, just having to run a car that bricks is is bad. Like I legit thought at one point, honestly, Neos was treated as Neos all the time, and I had to look at it again like, nope, honestly, Neos. Like, ah. but all right, man, those are my quick reviews. I think the car is good, but like everyone else, it's trash. Solid Man, where is that though? Um, expect a new profile for my Yu-Gi-Oh deck when Solid Man gets released. And I'm going to do some tinkering with the Neo Spaceship. All right, man, you guys had enough of my talking. Enjoy my day. Best bang for your buck, guys, right there. Peace Pizza. $3, bro. $3. I'm going to show y'all what I can get for $3. Hold on. All right, y'all. So, back in my little vehicle. So, like I was saying, I'm going to show y'all what I get for $3. Big ass slice of pizza from Peace Pizza. Now, this ain't a plug for them. I just really like to go to that place on my um, breaks from work. I didn't eat breakfast today, so I definitely need something to get me through my day at work. For y'all wondering, so far, work is good. And I know I like to eat healthy, but, you know, sometimes on my Yu-Gi-Oh! days, I like to indulge as a typical Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Mmm. So fucking good. And eat some good ass food. The other thing about me, I love to eat. I really do love to eat. And the best thing I like about that pizza, other than the price, real saucy, a lot of sausage. I mean, and three dollars you can't beat it. You know, this day and age in Chicago, I'm pretty sure in every other major city, you're gonna pay like five dollars for a big ass slice like this. But y'all didn't come up for that, y'all came for Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I was saying, I'm playing Mass Hero today. Um so let me BS on what I ban list. But it is what it is. The first thing that comes to my mind though is uh YCS Japan. Like what is that about? They gonna play one round for ten for fucking um no one game for like ten rounds. And single elimination. That gets me to thinking that Konami may secretly be trying to get Yu-Gi-Oh to be a one game game like Pokemon is, where it's like you don't have a cyborg, cyborg doesn't exist anymore. And if that's the case, and YCS Japan is the testing grounds for that, oh my god, that's gonna make a lot of players rage and quit. Apparently, the reason why YCS Japan is like that is because of scheduling times in Japan, and etc. But who knows, man? All right, so <laughs> this is like a little quick pit part of the video I want to add into the vlog with me eating. I'll see y'all on the next clip. All right, y'all. So as I sit here on my lunch break from work, 
Um, work going by pretty slow. Well, actually not pretty slow, just pretty dull. And I've been logging online periodically throughout the way to see if there's anything interesting happening in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. And the only thing that's been going on is everyone being pissed off about the new Mega 10 prom promos. The ones that just got announced as I am um, was reviewing online was the rituals for end of the world, the girl and the guy, I can't think of their names right now, Demise, King of the Armageddon, and that one girl who face attack twice. Both are just trash. And it just makes me think, why is Konami giving us these trash reprints? We want the Ash Blossoms. We want stuff that matters like, you know, Let me rephrase myself again. Just had a complete brain fart. We want the Ash Blossoms. We also want things like Struggling Battle. You know, cards we can use for us budget players out there who didn't have a good time to pick up those cards throughout the season and have something to play. It's already bad enough the promos are trash, like the Neos Nebulous, because let's be real, no one's gonna, there's no really good way to bring that card out. You know, the Synchro one I heard is good, decent, but it's still kind of trash. But it's just these mega tens just seem to be a waste of money and not a good investment for overall for the budget player. The only thing good out of these mega tens, from the most part, from what I'm saying, is just solid, man. So, once again, guys, <laughs> don't buy these tens, bro. All right, y'all, so I'm hungry as hell, just got off work. As you guys can see, I had to stop at one of my most favorite spots to eat at Chicago called Smoke's Barbecue. I had to get it to go because Locals literally start in five minutes. Luckily for me, Locals is only around the corner, so I legit parked in front of the barbecue spot and got me some Texas-style sausage, barbecue baked beans, macaroni, and you know, a little bit of coleslaw on the side, vinaigrette cold salad, which is fucking amazing. But yeah, man, if you want to win locals, you got to fucking eat like a king, you feel me? You guys should always treat yourself to a good meal, man. Now, I know a lot of you might, guys may be thinking, dude, you have pizza for breakfast, you having barbecue dinners for fucking dinner, and I, I didn't eat lunch at work, I just, the pizza held me off. How the fuck are you so skinny? Well, I'm not that damn skinny, I do have muscle in my body. I do have a little bit of meat on my body. But you know what, man, working out definitely allows me to eat the way I do, man. So if you guys want to look good still and eat well, work out. All right, man. See y'all at local. Peace. All right, so hit a meal right here. Beans, sausage, macaroni, salad. This shit's finna be good. Beans. Definitely try it out in Chicago. See y'all in the first round. So Locust is over. I fucking lost. I'm exhausted. That guy played up against his ABC, and I did a fun game against my buddy. He used um, Cyber Dragon. I just scooped it up. I'm tired. I, I ain't flight being there, man. I worked all freaking day, and it's like I overtrained a little bit yesterday, so my body just wants to sleep. But before before I go home, gotta shop for some wine. So stay tuned. Inside of Walgreens right now. Let's find some wine. You see, when an alcoholic looks for wine, I'm looking for two things. Cheap, which this is on sale, and the year. The older, the better. This is 2015, and we found a 2014. Let's see. And nah, only 2015. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take this home and indulge into my defeat. So stay tuned. Man, I'm back home now from Locals, and Playing Yu-Gi-Oh! over the past two weeks has really showed me something, or I guess confirmed something, that I've already known, but it put emphasis on it today. So, by the way, got my wine. This ain't the one I bought at the, um, at Walgreens. This is a 2014 Woodbridge. Very bittersweet, but it's so freaking good. But, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! 2014, no, I'm sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! 2014. Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is, I love the game. 
and I'm not about to rant, complain, bitch, and my own. But, okay, so, I know I started this video off saying I'm gonna, you know, get everyone's opinion on the mega tens and everything. I got to locals, everyone was busy, didn't really want to kill a camera in people's face. And, you know, but when I did speak to people while I was there, um, everyone really didn't mention the mega tens. Usually if I'm at local, people will be trying to pre-order the things. No one cares. And the general consensus online is the tens suck. They're not worth buying. So I just say, you know what? I lost energy to talk about that. But the one major thing I noticed, every deck, if not every deck, revolves around you shaping. What is you shaping? You shaping is when you pretty much extra length the entire board via the nightmare cars and via firewall dragon. I'm just like, I play the game against ABC, and you know he didn't even like open amazing against me. I just didn't draw hand traps, and he just whoop, 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 whoop. I'm just like, wow, bro, that's amazing. And then after the game, he showed me a one card hero combo that you can do with malicious all you need is a um a way to get malicious to graveyard and you can just use hero lives or you can just use Armageddon knight but essentially you can do one card u shape via malicious Armageddon knight or vion and i'm just like even though it's an easily stopped combo that's freaking bananas and it's like i've seen it before online i really have but when you notice that so many decks are just abusing the link mechanic to the fullest, making the what's supposed to be hard to achieve, not hard to achieve, which is extra linking. It just makes you think like, what the fuck was Konami smoking when they like released something like Firewall Dragon, like Buzz, not really ramp. Tell me what you guys think, man. How did you guys like today's vlog? Personally felt it was kind of dull. I didn't do much but eat, but I hope you guys found some value out of, out of it and hope you guys enjoyed it. So with all that being said, man, post your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't. This is Innovation YGO. Bring you guys that spicy Yu-Gi-Oh content, that wine Yu-Gi-Oh content 2014. And I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. See you guys either next week or maybe sometime this week if we get a balance. Peace.